God always has a plan for each one of us. As the book of Jeremiah tells us, He always has plans to prosper us. As I told you earlier, the kingdom of God is within us. And when we look up to Jesus as Lord and obey Him, it grows within us. But there are many areas of our life which still need the touch of God. Why doesn't God touch those areas then? Well, that is because we are not ready to surrender them to Jesus. But God is always patiently waiting for us to do that. The parable of the wheat and the weeds, which I'm going to tell you now, has a beautiful message for all of us. Wow! One day, Jesus was preaching from a boat to a large crowd of people. He was teaching them about the kingdom of heaven. So he told them a parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. There once lived a farmer who was a very good person. As usual, one day during the time of sowing, he sowed good seed in his field. But that night, when everyone was asleep, one of his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the plants grew and the heads of grain began to fall, then the weeds showed up too. The man's servants came to him and said, Sir, it was good seed you sowed in your field. Where did the weeds come from? Maybe. Maybe it was some enemy who did this. He answered, Do you want us to go and pull up the weeds? They asked him. No, he answered. Because as you gather the weeds, you might pull up some of the wheat along with them. Let the wheat and the weeds both grow together until harvest. When they are grown, I will tell the harvest workers to pull up the weeds first, tie them in bundles and burn them, and then to gather in the wheat and put it in my barn. What does this parable mean, Uncle Yes? That is exactly what the disciples asked Jesus when they were alone with him. His disciples came to Jesus and said, Tell us what the parable about the weeds in the field means. Jesus answered, In the story, the man who sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the people who belong to the kingdom. The weeds are supposed to be the people who belong to the evil one. And the enemy who sowed the weeds is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvest workers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered up and burned in the fire, so the same thing will happen at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out His angels to gather up those who caused people to sin and all others who did evil things. And then they will throw them into the fiery furnace, where they will cry and gnash their teeth. Then God's people will shine like the sun in their father's kingdom. Listen then, if you have ears. Wow! wow. What, what a, a lovely, lovely explanation. explanation! But uncle, why didn't the farmer allow the servants to pull out the weeds? Good question, John. We should first understand what type of weeds are sown by the enemy. During the time of Jesus, a common weed or tear was the donnel, which looks very similar to the wheat when it is a young plant. If the servants were sent to remove it, they would have ended up plucking the good wheat too, and the enemy would have enjoyed seeing the destruction of the good crop. Wow! So the farmer does something which is not the way of this world, but the way of the kingdom of God. He exhibits patience and waits for the harvest. Very good, Esther. Here, Jesus is teaching us that the best way to deal with an enemy is not to take revenge on him, but to outgrow him and bring forth a harvest of goodness. For in reality, with the right ambience, an individual wheat plant can produce multiple stalks of wheat and thus hamper the growth of the donnel or weeds. Wow! Does it mean that by continuing to do good in the face of persecution, we can even inspire the persecutor to stop his evil ways? Wow! Yes, Joshua. When someone does bad to you and you repay evil with good, then you can even win over your enemy. Wow! The farmer waits for the harvest time because wheat and donnel can be identified only when the crop matures. As Jesus says in the Gospels, you will know the tree by its fruit. 
Remember the fruit of the darnel can never be weed. The deception of the enemy is never hidden from God. Then let us pray to Jesus and ask him the grace to help us to always bear good fruit. Thank you.